Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this ring right here. So um, watch the video if you like it, subscribe or like it, I'd appreciate it. And uh, for more videos like this one here, you can check out my channel, I have lots, and check out my blog too. Thanks, now to the video. So today I'll be showing you how to make a ring with a British pound. So here's my British pound here, and as you may be able to see, I've already started. What you're going to do first is put this on a hard surface like metal and hit it with a hammer until it starts to develop a mushroomed edge. And like I said before, I already started hitting this with a hammer to mushroom it out. You just want to put it on a hard piece of metal, solid, and hit it with a hammer and slowly rotate it around every time you hit it. And to get this far, it took me about 10 minutes and it should take around 20 minutes to mushroom the edge enough for it to become a ring. So once you've beat it down enough and you have enough of an edge, you now want to get a stack of paper, well the stack of paper is what I'm going to use, and you're going to use that to find the center. So to find the center, I'm going to put, put a sharpie or a, a thin marker on something and put a line through here, like that, and then flip it over another line. Flip it again, one more line, roll it over again, and another line. And then as you can see, the center is right in between those four lines. Alright, so now we have the center found. We're going to start off by marking the center. So you can use a punch, I'm just going to use a screw, put it in the center. and hit it with a hammer and that will make a dent in the very center so when we drill it out it will uh, stay in the center you'll need a bolt a bolt and a nut this is all I could find but something that's pretty small that can um, that you can drill a hole in the center of this and put it through so a bolt and a nut and you want the bolt to be flat on this side here and next you need a drill bit. The drill bit needs to be a little bigger than the nut we have right, than the bolt we have right here. You can also use a drill for it, either one work. So uh, position it in the centerish area. Now you want to keep your hands away. If you have safety goggles you want to wear wear those. Well I recommend you wear them. It finds the center. And now drill. Alright, so now I finished drilling the hole and I put the bolt through it and I have it in the drill press now. So what I'm going to do is it's um it's pretty rough around the edges now after all that uh drilling and hammering. So I'm gonna turn this on and start by uh by sanding it down with the 120 grit paper just till we get rid of uh, most of the big bumps in it. And then after that we're going to use the 600 grit polishing paper and uh, the polishing paper you use with water. So. so you have to get the top of it and the side. Okay, let's see how that's looking. Alright, that looks nice. So, as you can see, I got all the dents out of it now. That's looking pretty nice. So, 
Now I'm going to use the polishing paper on it. And, as you can see, it's uh, gotten a little shinier. So, actually you can see uh, one spot on the ring right there, that, um, that there's still a dent there. So I could uh, spin it back up, use a more aggressive grit so I could get rid of that, that little dent there, and then, um, and then polish it over again. So, finish polishing this here, and it's looking pretty nice. Now, all that's left to do is to widen the hole in the center so that a finger can fit through. Now, there's two ways you can do that. If you have an abrasive bit like this one here, except a little bigger, you can drill that out. But this one here is for a Dremel, so it's too small. But, um, yeah, you can drill it out. That, that works to the size that you need it. Or... The harder way is if you have a drill bit like this here. Now you want to find one without this part on the end here. But uh, a nice big drill bit that can just fit right through there and drill it out. And uh, if you're using the drill bit, you may want to try um, working up. So start with a bigger drill bit than this, then bigger, then bigger, then bigger. So it will require a bit of patience, but uh, in the end it's all worth it. So I've already started the next step. And um, I feel for this step here, it is best to not use the drill press because there's nothing to hold it. Instead, I'm going to use this drill and uh, drill into it on an angle like this while holding it in the vise. So, just turn it on. So I'm still drilling out the ring. I uh, am using this drill bit right here. Um, I find this part right here works pretty good. It just slowly seems to foul everything away. And uh, you can see me drilling at it for a bit. It takes a while and goes very slowly. Progress is slow. Let's move everything. So as you can see, progress is pretty slow, but um, just going around in a nice big circle, because this isn't actually big enough to get all around that, right? So um, going around in a nice big circle seems to uh, hollow it out pretty nicely. I also found that uh, cutting it out over a piece of wood works too very well, because it uh, eventually buries itself into the piece of wood, which makes it not turn as easily. And adding water helps, so if you see... Um, something that looks like smoke, it's actually steam. So I've gotten rid of most of the center with my drill. So now I'm going to use this file right here, a circular file. If you have something you can put in the drill, that'll work too. And I'm just going to file it away. All around until all the burrs are gone and it's a nice, even roundness on the inside. Alright, so, I just finished uh, filing out the inside of this, and uh, now what we have left to do is, um, one, the inside is going to be a little bit rough, so you want to polish it with your polishing paper, like that. And then the second thing that you have to do is polish the outside, because the outside of mine got a few more scratches, so I'm going to polish the outside of it. I got a metal bar. And uh, I believe this is for a ratchet. And um, 
I put some electrical tape around the bottom of it. So now I can just push the ring down onto this. And it will stay there. So I have a little sponge right here to wet the polishing paper. And I'll turn this on. So that concludes the video. This will be your final product right here. And um, once you polish down the, the outside and the inside, it'll look pretty nice, as you can see. And uh, what you do with it is up to you from there. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel if you uh, like my stuff, and uh, check out my other videos too, if you are so inclined to. Bye.